Uh, hi everybody, I'm Dave Chatfield. I'm the weekend coordinator here at Camp Weaver. Um, last year I was the lakefront coordinator. Uh, so we're kind of in my favorite body of water. I remember when this lake was about half the size as it is now, mostly because I was a camper here when I was eight, 10 years old. Um, now one of my favorite parts of the whole camp is the lake. Um, it's a great way to just, I don't know, cool off on the hot days, have a little bit of fun with your friends. Uh, it's not structured, so you can just, you can go wherever you want to, you can go to the blob. It's extremely intimidating up there, but what's really awesome is to be able to um, show off the blob and that it's, it doesn't have to be as scary as it looks. Um, you know, once you, the jumping off part is the hard part. The landing and the splashing part's the easy part. Um, but it's also the most fun, so you kind of have to work through the hard part to get to the to the fun part, and um, makes it all worthwhile when you go flying through the air and splashing with the greatest of ease. So what we're looking at now is the aqua slide, uh, formerly known as the aqua jump. It's a trampoline on an inflatable base with some attachments that the campers get to jump on and then on to and then off of. <laughs> now we're looking at uh, the wet willy slide. Um, I believe it's 60 feet long. It's We have a pump that feeds water to the top so that um, it's technically a water slide. Uh, you go pretty fast on it, but uh, it brings you down to the water and make a big splash. And it's just a lot of fun. It's m one of my favorite ways to get into the water uh, from, from the shore. Uh, behind me is the iceberg. Uh, it's 20 feet tall. It has a climbing wall on the back side and a, uh, a kind of a slide on the front side. Um, I know uh, it's a great personal challenge to get to the top, uh, especially for myself. And I know a bunch of other kids who have used it as a, as a goal to set for the end of the week. They wanted to get to the top and then they wanted to slide down and it really produced a lot of good smiles out of a bunch of people. Uh, when I was a kid, my dad and I went camp uh, canoeing all the time, and then for a few years I worked on a whitewater river and uh, came here and was able to use all of those experiences to teach kids uh, the fun side of canoeing. Uh, they get to learn how to move forward, backward, uh, flip the canoe, get back in the canoe, help other people who have capsized the canoe um, so they can learn how to rescue other boaters. And um, yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun, especially when the kids come screaming, running at you saying, I'm with canoeing today. <laughs> You're gonna hold your paddle like this, this guy. and you go forward, you're gonna push the water back. This gives the back. children a chance to learn a new skill, get out, try something different that they may not have otherwise done. So we're getting ready to pass the log cabin and right beside the log cabin, kind of behind it, is our organic garden. Um, it's a pretty exciting opportunity that we have because uh, this is a chance for kids to learn where uh, plants come from. They may have only seen vegetables on the grocery store produce aisle and not really realize that it comes from a plant. <laughs> so uh, part of our organic garden program is to uh, start from uh, kind of seed to table or farm to table idea where everybody gets to interact with uh, the plants. They get to grow the corn, snow peas, um, cucumbers, tomatoes, uh, everything from weeding the garden to uh, actually harvesting those vegetables. Um, right here behind me, just on the other side of the log cabin. Uh, we also have three chickens, and uh, as far as I understand, all three of them are egg producing, so they get to check the chicken coop for eggs and make sure that the chickens are fed and watered and protected, and uh, just the whole process is pretty fantastic. Sometimes I think about it as um, out of the classroom experience, but the classroom is um, no different than out here at camp. It's just our classroom's 100 plus acres.